Hello and welcome to Drive at Miles. My name's Henry. Today I'm constructing my car for a vinyl wrap. I'm going to use the two bucket wash method and then finish off with a nice clay bar to get all the debris off. Uh, I've gone Avery Dennison Supreme Light Blue with a gloss black on the roof. Uh, hopefully it all goes smoothly. Might make a few mistakes, but it's uh, my first time trying it, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so I've just gone through and washed the whole car. It's come up pretty nicely. You can still feel some roughness to the paint. So I'm going to move on to the clay bar now. I've got Bowden's three-way here and it's actually a rubber pad. So hopefully it's not going to mar the paint too bad. I'm just going to go around panel by panel and hit it with this and hopefully it'll come up nice and smooth and we can move on to the wrap. Okay, so I've just finished claying my roof. That's come up real nice. It's smooth as glass now, I would say, so that's ready for a wrap. It was actually quite rough, so I'm pretty impressed with how that boat and stuff's been going. I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. But what I want to show was last night, I was feeling a bit impatient, so I just had a crack at this rear wing panel. It came up pretty good. I will say I didn't cut far enough out on my gaps there, so you can see on the inside, it doesn't quite come down as much as it should. That's definitely something you need to watch out for if you're trying this yourself. But apart from that, pretty happy with how it's all gone down. Can't see any bubbles or anything like that. Maybe the occasional small one, but hopefully not. Anyway, that's that's all I really wanted to show you. But now it's under the real challenge of the roof and trying to wrap over that. Quick update, uh, the progress has been going well. We've got the roof all done now. Hood's come up nicely, did that yesterday. And I'm pleased to report, I finally got the hardest part of the car done, so the rest of it should be a breeze now. Finally did that little bit there. Took me, that'll probably be the longest part of the whole wrap, I would say. Also just polished off that right side bumper there. It's starting to come together, long way to go yet. I think I'm gonna have to pull that front bumper off. But I still don't know what I'm gonna do about my doors. Either got to pull the handles off or somehow wrap around them, but I think everything's going to have to come off so I can do it nice and neatly, but we continue. All right, I had a time lapse set up for the front bumper wrap, but unfortunately it didn't film. But as you can see, I've got that all on. It's looking pretty good. A few areas that I'm not super happy with under here. I've cut it a little bit too short, so I might have to put an overlay in there, but I would say that's one of the hardest bits done. Next up, gonna do the big long side piece that runs up over the door, so I've just got that marked out at the moment. Definitely the most challenging part so far has been trying to cut around all these little gaps, all the holes, because you gotta pull the wrap in so many different directions. Probably used a bit too much heat in some sections. I might have overstretched a little bit, but overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy. In front of the license plate, you can see there's a few wrinkles. That's 
doesn't really bother me too much. I did that deliberately, so hopefully when I put the license plate back on, it'll look good. Just don't peek behind it, because that's where I always see all the wrinkles are being tucked into, but it's starting to come together now. So I'm moving along to the next bit. Let's do it. Real quickly, I just had this up on the side of the car to measure out that door, cut it out pretty much perfectly. And then I realized that because I had it facing contact against the car, that door would actually get flipped when I go to put it on, which means it won't fit. Luckily though, I haven't done this side yet, so it'll work perfectly for this side, but just a easy mistake to watch out for. quarter panel there done and dusted um yeah it went pretty smoothly i just had to readjust the positioning initially but i just sort of post heated it and then i've just been using a squeegee to tuck it into corners there nice and you can sort of fit one under the headlight which is good and then again i just tuck it all in tucked it under the seal there and then yeah probably should have swapped the blade out the knife was getting a bit blunt so that's just a hot tip there but just one more piece down not gonna do any more tonight because i'm getting eaten by mosquitoes out here but it's it's really starting to take shape on the progress things have been going quite well all I've got left to do this is the long side piece here the bottom side skirt bottom side skirt on the outside mirror scouts which hopefully shouldn't take too long I've made quite a large error I didn't purchase enough wrap so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to finish the car in this video I've got enough to do my rear boot but the rear bump is going to have to stay the stock blue for now which is unfortunate but it is what it is. Being in Australia, there's just not a lot of uh, options to get this stuff. I have to buy this from Canada. So it's going to be a while before I can get more material on my hands and do that last piece. But it is what it is. I'll get it done eventually. For now, I'm just keen to finish what I can and get this thing back on the road because I've been itching to drive it. 
say it was quite a difficult process it's it's not so much difficult it's just time consuming you have to be prepared to be patient in certain areas some take a lot longer than others front bumper took me hours quarter panel took me half an hour it definitely helps having a second person I had my girlfriend helping me out for the first fit which was a huge help so shout out to her she helped me lay some of the roof bits when I was just getting getting started working out how to do it all so if you can get a second set of hands to help you out it makes a big difference just with blasting it over certain panels I would say it's worth doing it yourself. You definitely save a lot of money and you learn a lot as well, so that's a bonus. Would I do it again? Potentially, I would like to do it again now that I know what I'm doing a bit more, just to do a bit of a better job, I suppose. I'm not super happy with some areas, but I mean, for the amount of money you save versus taking it to a shop, I, I would still say it's worth doing it yourself, even if there are a couple rough areas. Obviously though, you might do a better job than me on your first time. Uh, I recommend giving it a go. If you're thinking about it, just, just have a crack, buy some wrap. Make sure you get the right tools. Heat gun was absolutely essential. I just bought a little $30 tool pack off eBay, came with some squeegees, knifeless tape, all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely having the right equipment makes a difference as well. But apart from that, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Overall, I'd say uh, seven out of 10. All right, well, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, be sure to check out my other stuff on driveatmyoth.com, and I'll see you in the next one.